guys, my name is Chris Shadow Dogs the War Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we are going to be talking about De Jure's Summerland where we're going to be discussing the brand new 2022 Dinosaur Land Area Roller Coaster. Uh, we've got some brand new details, we've got the official type of coaster from the latest delivery of track uh, for this experience and uh, some enthusiasts might be disappointed about what this is but I've got my own reasons as to why I think this is a great idea for a coaster. And uh, not just now, but also in future years. I've got an idea and a bit of a theory as to what's going on here. Now, before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Click the case bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Uh, make sure you go over and subscribe to the second channel as well. We'll be talking about the latest Dogster Rovers uh, content and news. And, uh, yeah, you'll see on that channel we've uploaded this today's DRFC match preview for the Charlton game tomorrow. So, uh, go check out that preview on that channel there as well as loads of other fantastic videos including uh, me slating the EFL because they don't treat their clubs right so if you want to see all that that's over on the second channel also in the description you can check out Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter and TikTok links if you want to send some merchandise in for our merchandise video that's going to be filmed on the Monday and also guys make sure you go subscribe uh, to other fantastic YouTube channels that do just as good as I do and uh, keep supporting this channel as well we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and uh, make sure you also keep viewing all the past videos as well because I've had a couple of comments here and there saying first video and I was like you know this is where it all started so you know go check out the previous videos over 1,000 videos to check out so you can, there's a lot to check out and um, yeah we're nearly at 500,000 views in fact I don't know if we've hit it or not I'll have to double check after I finish recording this and uh Stay tuned because tomorrow we've got a very exciting video coming up and I cannot wait to share with you guys. It's not a news update, but it's a very special video. I'm not going to talk anymore about it. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to announce it. But for now, let's talk about what's going on at DeJure's Summerland. So, from the delivery of track, we know it's going to be a brand new Mac powered coaster. Now, it won't be the inverted powered coaster like Arthur and the Nimoy's Kingdom at Europa Park, but it will be the normal powered coaster. And the, of course, the recent example of this is Max and Moritz at F Telling. Looking then at the recent delivery of track and the confirmation that it is a Mac powered coaster, I could see why people will be a bit biased in terms of going towards the opinion of, oh, it's not thrilling, it's not going to be great. No, 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 no. I get that. I completely and utterly 100% get that. But. I'm going to side with the park here and say this is still going to be a great addition for the park. Now, I know it's not the massive thrill coaster and I know a lot of, you know, I know a lot of forums are sort of deciding, you know, did the enthusiast hype it up a lot? Did, you know, the park hype it up way too much for it to not be a thrill coaster? And I can kind of get both sides of the argument here. I can kind of get why, you know, us enthusiasts, we like to see these major new additions and, you know, I think that just some land on the other hand were hyping up a thrill coaster in my opinion. So I did think that, you know, it was kind of overhyped a little bit, but... Again, like I said, I'm going to side with the park. I would say this is still going to be a good roller coaster. Now, I mentioned an example while I was showing you the official footage. Again, courtesy of the Jersey Summerland, so big shout out to them. Um, the footage of the trap being delivered. Now, obviously, we know the trap's going to be green. We know it's going to have a, a green colour scheme of track. Um, and I set an example. Max and Moritz at F-Telling, of course, they replaced their bobsled coaster with this dueling Mac family kids coaster. Uh, called Max and Moritz with a very themed storyline, an extremely detailed uh, train design and landscaping and theming around the ride. And, you know, and overall, it wasn't really a coaster for families. It was more of an experience and a magical attraction. So, I think with that being the most recent example, I think if DeJure Summerland take inspiration from Max and Moritz in terms of the kind of theming level we're looking at here, especially with the dinosaur land area that's going to come into it, I think that they've got some real potential here to go on the same kind of, if not just under the theme and quality of F-Telling, with the dinosaur element inside of this. If they take Max and Moritz's inspiration for this, I think this is still going to be a very well detailed attraction and experience for the part. Now, talking about the uh, the story, I mean, we have no idea what the story will be, but I do hope it will have some sort of themed storyline like Max and Moritz does. Um, the landscaping hopefully will be good and I think for thrill seekers I think one thing that would back this coaster up and this whole dinosaur land area up is a thrill ride something like a flat ride just something to, to build it up and something to to put with it as part of a dinosaur land area so it's not just one coaster 
So, you know, I think looking at the whole basis of it, I think a very well detailed Max and Moritz theming level quality themed dinosaur family coaster, Mac powered, would be a good fit for the park. And it would be a very good help to sort of round off their family market. If you had a couple of thrill family rides in there as well, I think that'll balance off the area. I think it will give the thrill seekers something to enjoy this uh, in 2022 as well. Um, I think with this being constructed now and it's opening in 2022, yes, coronavirus you know postponed it to 2022. It was originally going to be 2021, but I think with 2022 now being the opening date, you've got to look at that and say that's positive in the long run because they could spend. A good amount of time here on theming and landscaping and that would make it a whole more more of an experience more than just a coaster in itself so I think that the the delaying one year yes coronavirus was at fault at that but you've only got to see that as a positive because it allow more times to to make the experience better in terms of off-ride and on-ride um, and also I speak about the long term I think the Joe Sunland will invest in a thrill coaster in the future I think it's just a matter of time I think once the coronavirus situation passes, which I hope is around the 2022 mark at best, when it's completely gone, um, my hope is around the end of this decade, like the 2028, 2029 mark, maybe we'll see a thrill coaster to Joe Summerland, and it would kind of, it would kind of make the enthusiasts go, "Phew, we got lucky in the end." Uh, <laughs> let's be honest, but. On the, on the serious basis of it, I think that a thrill coaster around that mark a few years down the line from this 2022 one, I think would help the enthusiasts by the end of this decade, and of course you've already rounded off your family market with this power coaster and this dinosaur area. So, you know, and you've got to look at it on the basis and say, Jungle Safari is a family attraction. That is what's re been replaced by this Mac power coaster in 2022. It's Jungle Safari that's been replaced. It's a family attraction. They're replacing it with a family attraction. So, and I think it, I said it in one of the earlier updates. I said I'm not. I'd love a Mac launch. I'd love a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, but I've got a feeling it's something family because it relates to Jungle Safari and fills the family void left by the old attraction. So, I mean, if I didn't say that, then I'm wrong. But I'm saying it now. I kind of had an inkling in in my gut, even though I might not have said it on camera, that. They were going to go for some sort of family coaster because it fills the void left by a family attraction in Jungle Safari. So I think the next coaster they add will be a thrilling one. Don't get me wrong, it will be a thrilling one. I don't think it will be another family one because they've rounded off their family market now. So all they need to do is keep investing for thrill seekers and keep them coming in. So, and Joe Summerland, you got to admit, Joe Summerland is probably arguably the best theme park in the country. So in Denmark. So I think that Dejo Summerland will invest in a thrill coaster at some point in the near future over the next few years or further down the line. But for now at least this rounds off the family market. So I think it's a good addition. Great theming involved. I hope you guys really love it anyway as well. For now though guys make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. Stay tuned for more videos including a very exciting one tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.